Let's talk it. Make this shit good. Don't ask me no stupid shit. You come in here, let me let me shout out New School Vision, New School Nation, cause they come in right. My man ain't in here with no motherfucking stupid ass camera. He got the official camera, he got the boom mic. He holding all types of shit behind him. Let's hope his camera matches equipment. He got his honor rider. You know you in Philly when the camera motherfuckers got honor riders. He got 30 niggas with him right now. We in Philly Fox Media Studio, let that be known. You know what I'm saying? But uh, go ahead, what you about to say, bro? Well, no, like you said, New School Nation, and you definitely, you've been doing it strong, doing it by yourself. And like, what's your advice? Some motherfuckers that's coming up now, that's, that's, that's thinking like, how do I get into it? How do they get to the level where you at? The main thing I can give them for advice is I, is I, is I uh, pick up my Louis Vuitton case that I put my millions in. The main thing I can give you advice is stay the fuck out my way. Leave me alone. Don't disrespect me. Don't mention me. In, unless you shout me out or show me love, it's the biggest advice I could give you. And I say that because... I want to see all y'all win. See how I flip it? Y'all thought I was going to be on some arrogant shit. The reason why I say that is because if you want to come up, I'm your biggest fan. If you're part of this new school nation, I'm your biggest fan. I don't give a fuck if you if you rapping, acting, dancing, modeling, um, boxing, um, trying to learn how to do taxes, uh, selling Muslim oils, um, s trying to do a clothing line, trying to run track, trying to run cross country. Trying to uh, trying to fuck your way to the top. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck what you trying to do. If you about that new generation, you about that next wave. I support it. You gotta respect your past to know where you're going. And I respect all the legends and I salute them. But I'm a part of the new generation. I'm not I'm not above. I don't put myself above. You know what I'm saying? So when you say I'm out here doing my thing, and one thing I like about your line, your line is is not being limited. It says nation. And when I hear nation, I don't think just, you know, Philadelphia or West Philly or Market Street. I think the world. And one thing I, I did with my movement, you see the T on my hand, top notch. I'm big on naming your company positive things. Top notch. Let's win. You niggas be trying to call your shit, you know, um, track, tr track nigga records and, uh, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shoot a nigga quick entertainment. Yo, this uh, bottom of the Coke bag, uh, ENT LLC and, uh, yeah, make sure you check us out at murder, 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 murder dot com. Like, come on, man. You speak things into fruition, and I think we learned that through hip hop. You know, you look at Death Row Records. I mean, as it, great as it was, and that's one of my inspirations, but it's like, you know what I mean? Look what happened. It was doomed. You look at fucking Murder Inc. You know what I mean? You doomed. You, you, you doomed. You, you look at the parent companies. You got names like Universal Records. You know what I'm saying? Atlantic Records. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas ain't niggas ain't like yeah, just do the distribution deal with uh shoot a bitch nigga in his mouth because he was ratting entertainment. No, niggas is saying I'm trying to go meet with Sony. You know what I'm saying? These 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 are conglomerates. And, and even with my thing, like when you hear me say the top notch goon gang was an extension of my company, the goon and goon gang for me stands for gangsters organizing opportunities nationwide. So we even put a positive spin on that. You know what I'm saying? So. My thing is, you know, just be smart in your approach, man. The biggest thing I can say is, the biggest advice I can give you is, 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 is know where you, you know, know where you come from and know where you're going. You know, learn this shit, study this shit. I study all the greats, and I'm trying to get better every day. You know what I mean? I'm not a born rapper like a lot of these dudes. I haven't been rapping all my life, so I'm learning on the job. That's why I received a lot of criticism early in my career, and still do. You know, Tom Trump is whack. Tom Trump is. You know, everything in for everybody. And I knew when I when I was starting off, I wasn't Nas and Jay-Z and Kanye, you know what I mean? I was learning. I was in this shit, you know what I mean? To be honest, I saw all these corny motherfuckers getting famous. I'm like, yo, I'm cooler than all these niggas, man. Like, I do a lot of fly shit. Let me rap about it so I can travel the world and get some girls and get some money and buy my mother a house and ride around in, you know, European cars and all that. And I saw it as a positive outlet and I fell in love with it. Like, I'm, I'm in love with wanting to get better. So that's another thing. Always want to get better. Like I want, I want, I want to be. I want to prove people wrong. I want the motherfuckers who, who hate me to be like, yo, this nigga stepped up. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I never let the hate control what I do. Cause one of my models is if they ain't hating, you ain't winning. So I always equate. You know what I'm saying? Like even with the negativity, I always find a way to put a positive spin on it. When I see a million motherfuckers talking bad about me, I say, damn, but that's a million motherfuckers that know who I am. And my hit single, Afghan, featuring Young Jeezy, which is also available on iTunes right now. I say they hate me or they love me, but I guarantee they know me. You know, like I said, with the whole thing with being nationwide, I just got back from L.A. I'm in L.A. and people asking to take pictures with me. I'm at the airport in Denver, people asking to take pictures with me. I get a call for April to, to perform in Africa. 
You know what I'm saying? I leave on the 19th to do my Midwest tour in Michigan, making money out in places that they never heard of a lot of niggas from where I'm from. A lot of times when you just in Philly, when you think who's popping in Philly and you go to the All Flamers or the hip hop since 1987s and the different local sites, you get a perception of, okay, this is popping in Philly, but Philly is very, very small. How many niggas can actually go to New York and get in the clubs free with their with their honor? How many people can go to the door of Greenhouse and say, yo, me, me plus 10? How many niggas you know can you know can say that they getting spins outside of you know let alone in this and most artists in Philadelphia not even getting spins in Philadelphia let alone in other markets not many can say that so you know one of the main devices man I, I know I'm answering this question long but I'm I'm, I'm sincere about it because I'm like I said I'm the biggest fan of the new wave I'm part of the new wave and I'm a proud to be a part of it it's just you know what I mean if you want to be the part look the part it goes from your Twitter to your website to the way you dress going to your shows to the way you look when you're doing these DVDs and these vlogs. You know what I mean? Like, your people's perception of what a real nigga is and what a bad bitch is is so distorted now that niggas that be on camera looking damn near homeless trying to convince us that they got all this money. We getting guap, nigga. We up. Looking fucking like you just woke up. And it'd be like 8 p.m. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, look the part. I talk that shit, but I back it up. You know what I'm saying? I talk that shit, but I back it up, and I got the stats to back it up. When I talk about being in magazines, I'm in every magazine with spreads, and I represent Philly. I make sure I got that red hat with that white P on it. I make sure I shout out, you know, the legends from Philly. You know what I'm saying? So I, I try to hold it down. That's from, you know, I go on MTV. I'm, I'm saying Schooly D. I'm saying Cool C. I'm saying I'm, I'm saying uh, the new artists. I'm saying all the DJs. I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? I'm representing for everybody. So we all gotta do that shit. Like you hear people say, Philly support Philly, like. I don't gotta say that shit, I just do it, I live it. I just did Shade 4 5 and I'm shouting out, you know, a lot of the new artists. That's a national radio syndicate, you know what I mean? I do that shit, I get on all the major sites. I'm not just on the Philly sites, I'm on all the sites. And I hold it down and, and you know, I can go from talking to an artist who just start rapping and then the same day be in a conversation with Beanie Siegel and talk to them both with the same respect and learn from both of them, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm still learning too. So my main thing is, man, have hey, hey, your shit together before you try to come to somebody. You know, people so quick to want to run up, yo, here go my CD. You don't got no cover on it. And if you do got a cover, it look like you did it yourself. You know what I'm saying? Put some money into your shit. Make your shit look right. Get a job. Get a job and finance your dream. Who the fuck made it cool not to have a job? It had to be a broke motherfucker. It fucks me up when I hear a nigga say, man, that nigga work at, like, you trying to play somebody. He work at Wendy's. He got a fucking job. You know what I'm saying? Get a job. You can get a job making a little bit of money and that's going to turn into something making some real money and you can refinance it and shit and put it into your, to your, to your career. Every nigga that they talking about right now that's, that's the, the next niggas and the new niggas, I don't give a fuck who you name, all them niggas put money into their shit or had somebody put money into their shit before they was with their labels and all that. All these niggas. Like when you see me do what I do, when I, you know, when I leave for the 19th of Michigan, that's paid for because I've earned my way to get paid for because I have a buzz and motherfuckers pay me to come out and they plan on making money off my name and I make money. But two years ago when I was going to all these different markets, I was flying to Miami, I'm flying to the West Coast, I'm flying to, I'm flying to the middle, I'm flying all over with my own money. That shit is expensive, my nigga. You feel me, bro? It's expensive. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I got a call today. Today is Saturday. This is a true story, y'all. I got a call yesterday. From, from one of the big homies and he said to me, he said, what you doing this week? And I said, I got shows Friday and Saturday. He said, what you doing Sunday and Monday? I said, you know, you tell me what I'm doing. They say, boom, we want you to come to the studio. Ooh, I said, where y'all at? Motherfuckers in Atlanta. I said, we gonna, we gonna hit you back. We either gonna be in Atlanta or Miami. Two days notice. You know how much a plane ticket costs on two days notice? It's not no Priceline.com, we'll get a ticket for $160. I'm not getting no fucking buddy pass on that shit. A ticket could be almost a stack. You know what I'm saying? Boom, go get the ticket. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it's just, you know, and, and being on the scene, man, y'all gotta be at the place. I go to so many places where, where all artists should be and I look around and I'm, not, I'm the only Philly artist there and I go to these spots and I don't see them there. So, you know, don't just go to the Arts Garage. Don't just go to the Pinnacle. Don't just go, and there's no disrespect to people that do these spots, but you gotta just mob out, man. Put your shirts on and get your crew together and all the motherfuckers is retweeting you and go to New York and, and go to SOBs when somebody from the type of music you do is performing so you can see who's filling in, see who your audience is. 
If you doing that trap music, you need to be at all the, the trap niggas that, that, that right now that's winning. You need to be at their venue, seeing what the fuck's going on, seeing what bloggers cover that, seeing what producers are there, seeing what fans are there, seeing what they look like, so you can know who you target, know your audience, know who you selling to. So many niggas talking about they was hustling before they was rapping, but don't hustle they raps. I gave y'all niggas too much game right there, man. Like, Definitely there's so much did. game. You feel me? As I continue to run my Twitter and my email from my phone as I conduct this interview. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about, man. Multitasking. Well, that's definitely positive, man. Now, tell me uh, what, what you got coming up right now. Right now, man, I'm proud that uh, I'm working on this uh, new Fresh Prince um, CD mixtape, which I'm doing. Um, shout out to everybody that's making me make this shit a classic, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's dropping uh, March 1st, and uh, we just dropped the trailer. We just released the artwork. Shout out to my boy Robbie Live. He in the building with me now. He, did, he put together the trailer. Shout out to Philly Fox, shout out to Taya Simmons, they, they contribute out of dope footage, everybody who contribute footage or whatever, but my DVD is basically going to show you, you know, like you said, you say I'm everywhere and all that, it's going to show you, you know, how busy I get and how that grind go, and um, the CD is coming with it, the CD is hosted by DJ Damage, Hot 107.9 in Philly, shout out to everybody over at the station, shout out to my brother DJ Damage, DJ Drama, the legend, the mixtape king, um, and it's mixed by DJ Active, West Philly's own, shout out to Active, if you, if you don't know who Active is, you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing music because he's all over and he's somebody you should know. And um, the CD is crazy, bro. I'm proud of this John. I feel like it's my best work ever. Uh, I, got, I, got, I got Noriega on there. I got uh, Young Jeezy, of course, on there on the Afghan. I got Beanie Siegel on there, Freeway, Young Chris, Mr. Fad. I got, I got a bunch of people on the project. You know what I'm saying? Like, So it's a good thing and it, it feels good. So we're working hard on that. And um, it's just a beautiful thing, man. You know what I'm saying? And far as the DVD go, man, the DVD is just gonna show me on the grind and show me, you know, in the studio, show me, you know, riding around, you know, in the wells and show me out in the hood and, and show me grinding in different areas, you know, from Houston to LA to Miami to New York, to Jersey to wherever, you know what I'm saying? Just putting on and, and, and showcasing my grind. And that's how, that's how it's supposed to go. Well, that's definitely a good thing, man. Definitely. I really appreciate you, you know. Shout out to New School Nation. Hey man, let me tell you like this, man. Just just represent it, man. Represent it right, man. I, I like I like your concept already. I like your professional approach, and y'all got my support. I'm big on support. Who support you? I don't give a fuck where you from. You support me, I'm support you. Whatever I could do to be able to help. And like I said, man, stay tuned for more. Let's swing clothing. Make sure you put that right. Can you put that right there for me? Make sure they don't, don't, don't. the ladies love to see my beard in full bloom. So. Pause. So make sure you put my website right here for lesswinclothing.com. Lesswinclothing.com. With a K. And then after you show that website, show my www.tonetrump.com. You niggas don't got, when you say what's your website, you niggas on facebook.com slash murder one, two grams of haze, kush, like, the fuck out of it. Tonetrump.com. It's my other site, you know, my personal site. You see my bio, my EPK at lesswintv.com. That's my other site. I'm about to make a million dollars off of that shit right there. That's three of my sites right there. And um, Facebook is my name, Tone Trump. I'm at the maximum on friends right now. I got to create a fan page. I'm not really big on Facebook, and I'm still at the max. So that, but definitely Twitter, at Tone Trump, as well as my promo page, at Team Tone Trump. Make sure y'all follow, man. Get in the loop, man. Shout out to everybody that's holding me down. Shout out to New School Nation. Big shout out to E from Philly Fox, Robbie Lyle, the whole track team, the whole Top Notch Goon Gang, the whole CTE world. You know what I'm saying? Of course, the big homie Snowman, Young Jeezy. Make sure y'all go get the single Afghan featuring Young Jeezy. And um, we just gonna keep mobbing and keep working. New Fresh Prince, March 1st, CD, DVD. Shout out to All Flame and shout out to Hip Hop since 1987. Shout out to World Star. Shout out to Sermon's Domain. Shout out to motherfucking Heat Rock. Shout out to, uh, whew. Man, I could do this shit forever, man. You know, shout out to everybody doing their thing, man. Free Kill King, man. Shout out to the whole Top Notch. TN Goon Gang. You know what I'm saying? So we do, man. Shout out to Kobe, man. Shout out to the Sixers. They balling right now. Still, it's still hard for me to root for a bunch of motherfuckers I never heard of. But you know, shout out to them anyway. Shout out to my nigga Tone too. My nigga Tone, who, 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 who you know what I'm saying, told me about you. Tone is a good dude. Maybe you could do like a like a, a show or like a, a cutaway of when he drew. He drew a painting of me on his own. Like I ain't know him from a can of paint. Took his time and his talent. His amazing talent. That's what I'm saying. There's so much talent here, not just with rap, man. 
and boxing and sports and shit. This brother's an artist, took a, made a painting of me and it was showcased at an art show in downtown Philadelphia. I was the only rapper featured. It was an honor, you know what I'm saying? And I got a lot of, a lot, a lot of feedback on it and made my mother extremely happy. Shout out to my mom. My mom got the frame for me and everything. So shout out to Tone, man. Keep doing your thing, man. Shout out to the ladies for making me their favorite. Shout out to the haters for making me their favorite. I got the best fans and the best haters. It's a great combination. If they ain't hating, you ain't winning. I'm signing off right here. New School Nation. I let your boy Philly. What's side.